Welcome back to Open House NYC. Now we are visiting one of the very few New York homes that was designed by influential modernist architect Paul Rudolph. 101 East 63rd Street later became the home of iconic fashion designer Halston, whose decadent, star-studded parties were among the city's most envied invites. A place to both start and end the night at Studio 54 is that rare place that is significant both architecturally and socially to the history of New York. Check it out. Many people have walked by this unique house on East 63rd Street just off of Park Avenue and wondered just what's inside. This house is an amazing piece of New York social and architectural history. In the 1970s, this house was bought by fashion designer to the stars Halston and quickly became known simply as 101 because it was the go-to party place for the 1970s glitterati. Hi, I'm Leslie Hirsch of the Howard Morell team at Engel & Volkers. Welcome to 101 East 63rd Street. This townhouse is 25 feet wide and boasts over 7,500 square feet of interior space, including four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and a separate guest suite on the upper floor, which I'll show you later. Upon entering, the hallway is lined with photos of the 1970s who's who, many of which were taken right here in this house. And further down the hall, an enchanting world is revealed. As you enter the living room, it's easy to see why this house became the ultimate party place. If these walls could talk, they'd be blushing. This room has been used for everything from photography to crazy parties with the likes of Andy Warhol, Bianca Jagger, and Liza Minnelli. The multi-level living room is unlike anything you've ever seen. The ceilings are over 32 feet high. There's a fireplace, a skylight, and even a bamboo garden with its own catwalk. And the best part is that guests can stand on the multi-level balconies watching the action below. After an evening of entertaining, it's time to relax. Let me show you where you can unwind. This incredible master suite is still original to the time when Halston lived here. Just look at these floor-to-ceiling windows with sunny southern views over East 63rd Street. The double-height ceilings are perfect for displaying an art collection. And of course, a house owned by a fashion designer would have to have its own separate dressing room. Remember that guest apartment I promised to show you? Well, here we are on the top floor. When Liza would visit Halston, she used to stay here as a getaway from the flashbulbs of the paparazzi. This area has everything a guest could ever wish for, including their own living room, a master suite with ensuite bathroom, a kitchenette, a bar, and even a 1,600 square foot terrace. The only problem with having a guest suite like this is, your guests will never want to leave. This house has so much drama, so much fun energy and history. It is truly a piece of art that is just waiting for the next owner to continue the legacy. Thanks for joining me.